So when we think about the digital learning thresholds, one way to think about them is as a little beacon of light that brings us to have a trajectory in terms of focusing our attention on what we could be doing to help students learn and make the task of teaching even more effective. We've been doing lots of different things here at the University of Wollongong. Many teachers have been trying out all sorts of different ways of enhancing digital learning and digital skills for their students. But we've all had different skills and knowledge. Some of us have easy access to support and some not so aware of support. We've all been doing this at a slightly different pace. And this means that, one, it's not fair for the teachers. Some are feeling well supported and rewarded for engaging with this because they're getting some feedback about it. And also not fair for students because some students have been getting easy access to good resources, online tools and developing good digital skills and some are missing out. So we want a future where all of the UIW students are going to be developing good digital skills and getting easy access to the types of resources and interactions that they need online. With the digital learning thresholds, we've all got a similar endpoint that we're heading for at a time when resources are being developed and offered to us. So the digital learning threshold will be a point that we can reach and say together, we've done a good job of making sure that access to digital skills, digital learning and digital interaction is fair and equitable across the whole university. And we'll all learn from it.